Hey guys, Willpower64 here, bringing you all back to another part of The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. In the last part, we explored the well in Ikana Canyon, and now we arrived here at the ancient castle of Ikana. So, I recommend, when entering this area, make sure you wear this, the Gibdo Mask, because this will cause all these guys to start dancing. If you take it off, take it on, they will continue to dance. Alright, first things first. Uh, we want to- oh, we have no magic. Okay, I guess I have no choice now. We gotta drink this, since I'm out of magic, since I have very bad luck with magic. The Chateau Romani here makes it so you have infinite magic! I do recommend having that when entering this area. You'll see why. Um, okay, so we're not gonna worry about that door just yet, but instead we're gonna worry about this way. We wanna hit this? I do have the mask on, right? I just hear them. Okay, no, I do. Okay, good, because they're still dancing. Good, good, good. Yeah, take the mask off. They stop dancing. All right. This room. You are going to need just regular arrows. Nope. Regular arrows. Uh, I recommend your bunny hood and the Deku mask. So we're going to pop that on. We're going to hit this switch. This will cause the ground to rise up. And with, as here, you want to quickly equip your Deku mask. Go down here, because in a couple of seconds, that goes down, but lift it up, and it'll go back up. And now we want to go back over here. Take that off, hit this switch, and that'll cause that to happen. Uh, I probably could make the jump, but we're not going to risk it and actually hit this switch. There we go. I like how my arrows were actually sticking out through the wall as well. That was kind of cool. All right. Now, in here, we're going to pop on the Deku mask here. So what we want to do is go over here, and we want to hit this switch. And it sucks that we have you can't be a Deku to do this. you got to be a non-Deku to hit that switch. All right, so that's done. You're also going to want this. You're going to want your lens of truth so you can see some platforms where you can stand. And if you look around, you got some spiders around here. And since uh, you can't see them, they're a bit of a pain. And since those platforms are made of ice, you gotta be careful. Alright, so what we're gonna just go over here. And we're gonna jump over this way, and there we go! Now, in this room, uh, we got these jerks. I wonder, can I outspeed them? Ah, we did! We outsped them. I was like, can I just, can I just quickly pass through them, please? Yes, I did. Good. All right, this way, into this room. Ah, this room, okay. I can't see it, but I sense there's a thirst for blood looming around us. Don't you have a mask that can summon the unseen? Yeah, whenever Tattle goes off like that, that means there's a, a Garo close by who wants to battle you. So before we do anything, before we even attempt to do any kind of stuff that needs to be done around here. Oh, okay, that works. Uh, we want a Deku mask for this. Equip the Deku mask. And we're going to go over here. Up, down. Take off our mask. Hit the switch. That activates that hole there. Now, you're probably wondering what's so good about the hole. Well, that hole is going to be needed for the other room. And now it's morning of the next day. It is now the second day. And again, uh, as I stated this before, this is the second time I have done this. Uh, this is a new route that I am doing. I've not done this route before, so this is all brand new for me. All right, we got these birds flying around us. These birds are going to be a pain in the butt. But before I do that, I want to show this off over here. Uh, for some reason, if you go all the way over here, and right there, there is a paper airplane just chilling on top of one of those statues there. As to why it's there, I honestly don't know. I heard something like it was supposed to be a side quest that one of the uh, kids in Clock Town were supposed to give you. I think that's how I read it. I could be wrong. All right, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of any birds that are around here, just so they're out of my way. Because there is something, I heard it, yeah, there it is. If I can get rid of that one, okay, no I'm not. Oh, well, there's that one. We can get rid of that one. Okay. Quickly. 
You want to hit this switch. That turns off the flames. And you want to quickly hop down the Adeku real quick. And we're going to be quick. We got to quickly do this. Because if we don't, the flames will come back and that's game over for us. So we're going to go into a ball here. I would have recommended getting rid of that bird that's over there. But I think it's not going to be a pain for us. Because over here, for our troubles, we got ourselves a piece of heart. We've collected two so far. Good. All right, good. That's that problem out of the way because I can guarantee you that piece of heart can be annoying because of the birds. The birds hit you as a Deku, you go flying off and you fall down here and you gotta do everything again. It is a pain in the butt. But hey, it's all good. All right, re-equip your Garrow's mask because if you re-enter this room, these guys are gonna start dancing again. Look at them spinning around like circles. Look at them, that's so cool. All right, in this room, we, oh, we got a wall master here. Oh, well, that's fine. Just uh, hitting them with your light does, uh, knocks them out, which is cool. However, he does form to smaller ones, which you gotta watch out for. And he actually get quite a bit of rupees for it, for taking them out. Okay, there should be one more. Yep, there you are. Hey, get off of us. Get off of me. Oh, he grew big again. Oh, well, is that enough to, ah, smaller ones reformed. Get out of here. And where's the other one? I see the other one. I see you. Get out of here, you. No! Don't regrow. Ah, oh, great. Well, he reformed. So you know what? I'm just going to get out of here. See you all later. I don't want to deal with you guys. And now in this room, we have a familiar face. This time, I think he's going to shoot a fire arrows at us. So what we want are... Actually, no. We want ice arrows for this one. As, as far as I'm aware, we want ice arrows to take this guy out. And the good news is you can still look at your map and see where he's going to be. Right. Now he's going to be over there. Oh, he jumped! It's because I fired too quickly, that's what it was. Maybe let's use fire arrows. Fire arrows should be much more faster in my opinion. Okay. Okay, get ready because now he's going to do his... Multiple attacks where he has all everybody show up at once. All right, let's see. He's gonna be over here. There we go. And then he's going to appear over here. There we go. And now one more hit should just about do it. Or not? Wow. This guy takes quite the quite the number of hits. I think uh, ice arrows were doing more damage to him, but oh well. Doesn't matter. He gone. And now that he's gone. We can continue our way. All right. And because of this, everyone's dancing for us. And since they're dancing, you actually still can't hurt them. And you still get some rupees out of it. So that's pretty cool. That's a good way to get some rupees. However, there's actually a faster way of getting rupees. But we'll be going over that in a little bit. All right. Now, we enter the... I guess this would be considered the right side of the castle. Or the, the left side. All right. So, you come over here. Tyler, you're not gonna say anything about this? Oh, there you are. Here, see? You always miss things like this. Take a look. The rocks are cracked here. Interesting. So, what does that mean? Well, you want to be a Goron, and this is where the powder keg will come in handy. So we're gonna drop it, duck and cover, because Please, I it. Oh, here he goes. There's the clicking. There you go. Causes a giant hole to appear. So now, re-equip your Garrow's mask. You wanna, or sorry, your Gibdo mask. You wanna hop down. And you can just, boom. Or, come on. There you go. Boom and boom. Take them all out. Yeah, light seems to hurt these guys quite a bit. And you get a number of rupees for this, too. And the best thing is they respawn, so that's kind of cool. All right. Using the power of the light. We open up the way over here. Okay, I'm going to keep a hold of the Gar the Gibdo's mask just in case there's more of these guys. Okay, there's not. All right. Uh, you want to hit these things. You can get some potion or some magic, I think, in arrows. You're going to want arrows, and you're going to want magic. And knowing my luck with magic, that never happens. See, I've just gotten one small pot. All right. Walk in here.
Oh, insolent one who has brought unthinkable into the land of Dark Vicana. My servants have fallen namelessly before the light that guides you. However, the darkness in which my servants live in, after all, fleeting, you shall see with your own eyes. Just what kind of true darkness really is. <laughs> All right. So, we got ourselves a battle here. There's a cool things I want to show off real quick, though. If you equipped the Keton Mask, then after, I want to equip this one after. And we're going to want fire arrows for this. But real quick, you wear the Captain's Mask and you go over to the King. Hello. Whoa, Kita! Is that not Captain Kita? I like how he just pauses. But you're so... T tiny! I was nearly fooled by what you have done. Yeah, and now he's not gonna care about it. However, equip the Brendan mask and you start marching. Watch what happens. These guys start marching. However, this could be used to your advantage. How so? Well, while they're marching, you want to have your fire arrows ready. Because, while they're marching, continue marching, boys. Or they're going to wait. Yeah, they're going to wait. Okay. While they're marching, we are going to quickly re-equip our fire arrows and aim for the curtain. Doing so activates the light. So that's pretty cool. Now we want to open up the other curtain real quick. Like so. And there we go. Sunlight has arrived into our area. Thank God we're doing this during the day. And now the battle begins. However, you want to take these guys out close to the flame or close to the light because with your with the light, you want to take them out like that. But now you fight the king. Let's go, big guy. However, I will say this. The, um... Using the, um... Using the, um... Brendan mask won't work on this guy. So that you gotta be careful with. There you go. Stop that. Okay, now he's doing this. Yeah, once he does this, you gotta kinda stay away from his head. I would recommend putting your shield up, because he will try and grab you. Or, that works. Oh, hey. Thank you. And now his head's going to be reattached. And since we're behind him, I was going to say, we can do spit attacks on him. There we go. He's down. And quickly, shine your light on him. And he's done and done with. You're blocking me. Get out of the way. I can still get him. Blocking you? The reason he beat us is because you were so feeble. Don't blame this on me. What? Just try saying that again to my bony face. Feeble. Feeble, 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 feeble. Feeble, 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 feeble. Feeble. Shut up already. Urgh, don't look at me. I was once called the best swordsman in all of Ikana. The greatest swordsman in all of Ikana, you feeble. Draw your weapon. Huh? I'm telling you to draw your sword. How? <laughs> Will you stop? What fools? Haven't you begun to understand? The kingdom being ruined and all of us left in this state. Isn't it petty? Little battles like this that have caused it. Believing in your friends and embracing that belief by forgiving failure. These feelings have vanished from our hearts. It all happened after somebody thrust open the doors of Stone Tower. You who bring light into darkness, 
I am the king of Ikana Kingdom. Igos do Ikana. The spellbinding that had been cast upon us was broken by that light which you carry. To return true light to this land, you must seal the doors of Stone Tower, where the winds of darkness blow through. But Stone Tower is an impenetrable stronghold. Hundreds of soldiers from my kingdom would not, e not even be able to topple it. It is far too reckless for one to take on such a challenge. And so, I grant you a soldier who has no heart, one who will not falter in the darkness. You play the Elegy of Emptiness. You have learned the Elegy of Emptiness. It is a mystical song that allows you to shed the shell shaped in your curtain image. By playing this song while wearing the mask to assume different forms, You'll be able to leave up to four empty shells, one for each form. This soldier who has no heart is your twin image, a shell of yourself that will shed when, you, when your song commands it. On my kingdom, shine the light of justice. Talk about creepy. I'm pretty sure that was the inspiration of the uh, creepypasta, which I never really got a chance to read yet. I should one day. All right. Uh, give the mask. Let's get it back on. Because you re-enter this room. Look who's back. These guys are back and they're spinning around again. I want to join in. You okay? Oh, sorry. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. And oh, sorry. Hey, free money, though. So am I really sorry? <laughs> All right. So where to now? Well, there is actually one area we could go to. Uh, if you look over here, you actually have these blocks over here that you can actually get rid of, but that's not gonna be until a little bit later. So where do we wanna go to now? Well, we want to go back to Ikana Canyon because we now have the ability to enter the temple. We got the song, like every other, other place, you learn the song, you have a way of getting to the temple. So we're gonna do just that. We're going to get to the entrance of the temple and then we're gonna call it quits. Cause there's a few things we gotta do before we enter the temple. So we're gonna do just that. All right. And now we actually get a good chance to actually hear the song around here. It is creepy as hell. So if you listen carefully, Okay, not that song, but the song over here. I, I'm trying to hear the creepy song around here and the music box keeps playing. I don't wanna hear the music box. I wanna hear what this place sounds like without the music box. We're so close to the music box. Oh, we're gonna keep hearing the music box, aren't we? Oh, here we go. Yeah, the song around here is kind of creepy. The version, like, the the bad version of this area is creepy. Anyways, welcome to Stone Tower Temple. Here we go. So, this area. You got these pedestals around here. Step on them, and something will happen. What you gotta do now is play the LG of Emptiness. Trying to rem okay, you're gonna learn this song very quickly. You're gonna actually, when I play this game, it takes a while for me to remember the song, but then once you, because you're gonna play this song quite a bit, that's only one problem about Stone Tower Temple. Uh, you're gonna be learning to play that song a lot. Oh, it's kind of crazy. All right, 
However, I will say this about the LG of Emptiness. Um, the LG of Emptiness, you use all the songs but one. You don't use the Deku form. That's what I meant to say. You play the LG of Emptiness, but of the three forms, that, or technically four, you only use the Goron, the Zora, and the Link one. Deku, you rarely use. So once in a while, I might use it. Anyways, we want the Goron. Because, hit that switch. Now we're going to be a Goron. And now we're going to play the LG of Emptiness again. Honestly, what I like about this song is so easy because it's like you're just going in a circle for the last four notes. So it's just remembering the first three and then you go in a circle. All right. Now we're going to want to watch out for that thing right there. This thing here. You don't know about the Beemos? Also, that Goron right beside us. That is creepy. Don't let it begin to scare you. Just give it a good blast. Uh, essentially, what it's saying is, uh, you got a blast mat, or... Uh, now where do I want to go? We want to go up. So let's get back up here so we can get on top. And now, we want to go up here. You also want to watch out for boulders coming down. So now, up here, you want to be a Zora. Hit this switch. That goes up, and this one goes up. Oh, no, that's not what we want to do. We want to stay as a Zora. And now, we want to play the LG of Emptiness. Hang on. There we go. Like I said, it's, it's just remembering the first three notes. Once you learn the first three notes, you're fine. But it's just remembering those first three. All right. And now, look at this one. All of these are creepy. If you realize this, that actually they are the spirits of the characters we once we transform into. These are actually what they originally look like. All right. And you know what? Just for this, just up here, let's see what this one looks like. Or let's let's, let's do it down here, just in case I need to get back up there. Uh oh. Okay. I just want to stay away from those boulders. All right, here we go. Let's have a look at this one. Let's have a look at this guy, because we're not going to see it. Because we don't really... You don't use it, because since you're a Deku, you don't really hit switches. And that's the whole point of these guys, to hit the switches. Let's have a look at these guys. Let's have a look at this one. That one looks the least creepiest, but now we know what this guy once looked like. But the question still... Excuse me, I'm trying to say something here. The real question is, who did this Deku belong to? Who was his name? Did anyone relate it to this Deku? We don't know. The closest thing we have would be someone in the uh, Deku Palace, but we don't know. You know, it's a mystery. All right, so since now we have the new elegies going off, the new sections of characters, uh, because of this, the old platform down below is now gone back to normal. All right, and now we want to go up here. Look up to, oh, I guess not. Uh-oh, the Vimos is aiming for us. Okay, good, we were far away. Uh, we want Goron. I'm gonna stand over here, and we're gonna hit this switch, which will cause, I like these platforms. These platforms are creepy as well. This whole area is creepy, but I like this place for it being creepy like this. All right, that does that. And now we're gonna quickly All right, we are going to do this real quick. And now, those statue platforms are weird because they are a person with their tongue hanging out, covering their, like, body parts. That's what's creepy about these things. But not only that, on their tongue that they're using to cover their body parts with, and yes, yes, I see it. Get away from me, you Beemos, thank you. What makes this whole thing creepy is about those statues is they got something on their tongue. And we'll probably actually see it right here. If I show it right here. Gotta get a little closer. Okay, normally they're supposed to have the Triforce on them, but I guess they don't. But yeah, their tongue is covering their private part, which is kind of weird. Uh, originally, I think they were supposed to have the Triforce on there too. I don't know why it doesn't. <laughs> I'm trying to say something. I'm trying to show it like, oh, it's got the Triforce, but it doesn't show it. 
I wonder if it was removed on the Switch version. I doubt it, but... Oh. We rolled a little too fast. Okay. Stay on the, the Switch. Thank you. That was weird. The Switch... That was, that was weird. Okay. We're on the Switch. Good. Now. Here we go again. Yeah, just an easy... This is uh, one thing about people don't like about this area. It's just a constant, constant having to do this back and forth. The good news is, I will say this. Um, once you get to the top of this area, you don't have to worry about it. It's all one go. However, I think if you are playing the Japanese version of this game, there is no owl statue at the very top. Yeah, surprise, there's an owl statue up here. If you're playing the original version... Or the Japanese version, there is no owl statue up here at the top. Oof, that was close. We got hit by the Whoa! Like, stay up. Stay on. Thank you. And pretty much we wanna aim for oh, actually no we don't. We wanna I think we wanna make a leap of faith. Is there no Oh yes, there it is. Can I not reach that? Oh no, I gotta Do I have to hop down for that? I think I do. Don't want to hop down too far, though. Okay, aim up and aim for that. There we go. Make our way up. Uh, yeah, I saw that. I knew something was coming at me. Get out of here, you. And then that's the one we want to get to up there. Good. Made it up here. And now, with the owl statue up here, hit this. And there we go. We are now ready to enter the entrance, as the entrance is right over there. However, we are going to save that for the next part. So the next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we enter Stone Tower Temple. But we have one small thing we got to do before we do that. I will see you guys. There we go. Oh, well. Oh, there it is. There we go. All right. I'll see you guys then.